Good morning, folks. Shirley C. on a sunny Southland day. Well, playing my waterman ukulele today because this wee song is about things that happen on the water, namely the America's Cup race. Now, I don't mind yachting at all. My dad was a commodore of the Southland Yacht Club and used to build sunburst boats. In fact, the Delaco Sea Scouts are still sailing one of his boats, I think. But I don't like wasting my taxes because I pay dearly for, the, for my tax and I think it should be spent more than it's The harbour near Auckland, some pretty boys will sail. In the challenge for the America's Cup. Thirty minutes on the water, if come weather will prevail. And the taxpayer of New Zealand will have to pay up. This gives me indigestion. So here are my suggestions. Along with corporate sponsorships, why not hold a raffle or make 10,000 cheese rolls to pay for your boat baffles? Good ideas. The sailors' wives could sew their clothes from recycled. And the life jackets could be made from polystyrene. Mum used to make our life jackets. She bought the material and inside would be polystyrene from packing cases. She was a wonderful lady, my mum, very resourceful. They say this race in Auckland will bring money in by the billions. But not one cent will leave the north for us poor South Island civilians. And can you call it sailing while you're cruising on a lake for only half an hour? Come on, folks, give me a break. Oh, I'm not that silly. That's just the pretty boys having a wee tea party on a boat. So here's what I suggest to make the boat race the best. Now this is pretty radical, I can tell you. Why not race on Fobo Strait between Bluff and Stewart Island? That will sort true sailors. I'm a bunch of whinging whalers. Five metres swells will bring great thrills to test their navigation. Morse code can relay back sailing information. That will save a fortune on those fancy reporters and all their electronic bits and pieces and stuff. Now, it's not as silly an idea as it sounds. Think about it, folks. There's lots of empty sheds and bluff where they could store their boats. And there's tons of pubs with great accommodation. In the south, we're a friendly bunch known for our hospitality. Bluff oysters and mutton pies, they are a specialty. And when you taste food from Stewart Island, you will think that you have met God. The best thing on the menu is fresh caught blue cod. The worlds who stay. Enjoyed it visiting the national park and chasing cute birds when it was dark. So instead of wasting money on posh cafes, 
and last days. Why not just himself? We even have lattes. Me too. And the taxpayers will have much less cash to pay. So give us some serious thought, you Auckland boat racing gurus and stuff seriously. It would be, it's an hour from, on the ferry from Bluff to Stewart Island and it's a bloody rollicking rough ride. That would make the real sailors. Yeah. Have a wonderful Shirley day.